Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of After Image. Last time we left off, we were exploring this area, and I think we've mostly cleared it out. If I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be honest, I think I want, what I want to do is I want to get up here, and there's some stuff up here that it looks like I can do things with, and then I can kind of force my, or not force my way, but make my way back down this way, and then we can go there. Um, into this new area, if need be. Um, there's also stuff back here I can probably grab now. Um, but I might as well just wait until I get more abilities before going over there. That just make the most sense, so. Alright, let's just make our way, uh, back up here. God, that damage. We are very, very strong at this point. Uh, did I mark you? Ooh, I did not. I did not mark this. Um, okay, that's the I need a higher jump thing. So let's put that right there. Uh, and oh yeah, I never I never explored this area at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember now. We were gonna we were gonna go over here. I just never got to it. Ow! That grape was still bouncing around. Yeah, 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 we never- we never actually finished this area off. Oh, wait, but didn't I come over here and- yeah, there's a higher jump required. So... Yeah, there's this stuff. Okay, okay, yeah, that's right, that's right. So we needed a higher jump for this. Um... Okay, well there's an item over there. Uh, I can get it at some point. Yeah, I forgot about that. Apologies, I just woke up, so... Uh, hi. I'm forgetting to use my, uh, my jump attack with the blade. So we gotta make sure we do that. Ooh, two drops. Two bits of golden grain. Okay, so we're just, we're just heading back up here now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And this did loop back around to here. Cause yeah, what I want is just to get out of here. Hello. There we go. So now that we're back up top and I have the ability to slide, we will be able to do some things in Resting Town, I believe. So... Have I been in here? Oh yeah, yeah, I remember going in this one and there's something blocking me. Uh... Or... No, there's nothing blocking me, but I... I feel like there's something else hidden in here. That was it. Yeah. Weird. It, it feels like there's something else in here, but no, I don't think there is. Okay, I know one of these requires me to be able to slide. Is it this building? So there's something in here. Uh, that requires a higher jump, so that's what we're gonna put there. Um, damn it. I wonder if I can go along the other way. Does it, does it loop back around? No, it ends right there. I was hoping it would cycle back to the beginning, but no. Okay, so now I know that's a higher jump requirement. And this wasn't anything I could go into. All right, so yeah, we just want to move to the right then. Ah, <sighs> what a beautiful, peaceful area. Hello, and I've read that. We can go ahead and refresh our save here. And good to go. So, what do we got in here? Uh, this was also a higher jump scenario, wasn't it? Oh, but hey, you're back here. When traveling through the field of Geo, away from towns and villages, chaos reigns supreme. Okay, cool. So we got a little bit of uh, extra context talking to you. Um, definitely need higher jumps in here. So once again, gonna update this marker with uh, this. I think this is an okay system I have. It makes more sense to me, so. All right, um, over here. I know one of these is like a, yeah, right here. I, I knew one of them was. A talent point. Oh, but now it has one of these. Damn. Okay, well, I'll uh, add that to the list as well. Damn it. I keep doing that. I keep expecting it to replace it, but no, it just removes it. 
Um, all right, there we go. Well, at least we got a talent point um, out of the deal. Um, let's go ahead and spin that, I suppose. Uh, so yeah, once we reach level 20, I'll have access to some new things. I guess I might go for elemental mastery. I mean, it's just increased elemental damage, basically. Um, of course, I did also go here for the blade. Wyvern Sting. Yeah, you know what? Let's get the let's get the Wisp of Valor over here, and then Elemental Mastery. And I think I just want to get like all of those. These do cost two to unlock. I did not realize that when I was getting them, but I want that max MP up. Is what I want. All right, so that's been added to the list and we updated things there because things needed to be updated. Ah, it's you. you um, bye. Pale rock remains, talent essence. Wait, increase talent points by two. Wait, what? Ooh. Two crystals stored within the, with the essence of a stream. Oh, and you sell a shard of divine leaf as well. Oh, wait. Wait, I didn't see all of this good stuff when I was here last time. Did you get new stuff? Huh. Soft lava chunk. Yeah, because I can just straight up buy talent points. And a shard of divine leaf. It emits... Special heat if activated in the right way. Weird. Okay, well, I mean, I want to buy the talent points and the shard of divine leaf. There we go. And then also increase talent points by two. Okay, and then, oh my God. Wow, I could just get a lot of stuff. Holy, okay. Okay. Well, we just, we have like a billion talent points now, right? Yes, we have nine talent points. Oh God, and I have like nothing to spend them on. Um, hmm. Hmm. Uh, did this, this, okay, that's seven. Um, what else do I want? Uh, I guess the elemental mastery down all the trees here. Because that's pretty good. Just slowly stacking up my magic damage there. Um... And I guess, yeah, the only real thing to work towards now is... I might just save these talent points, to be fair. This one talent point for when I hit level 20, because then I'll be able to put it in some stuff I actually care about. Wow, okay. That was, uh... That was pretty crazy. So I got like, was it, like 2.5% increased damage with various elements now? Alright, cool. Ow. Eat it. There we go. So now we're level 19. Good. Oh, wow. You just impaled yourself right on my sword there. Um, so what does this require? Is this a higher jump? This is a higher jump. So we're going to replace that. Yeah, this is a way better system now. I like it a lot. Okay. Cool. So then we can go to the field of Geo, which I can actually access now. There's also this which I can access. Let's let's go down there and see what that's all about really quickly, I think. Um, because I am curious. You're mentioning going to the field of Geo, but... Okay, wait, we've already been in there. I was like, I see you. Ow. There you go, die. God, we spent so much of our currency there, too. Alright, so take this down. And let's refresh ourselves on what was over here. Um, also, I can remove this marker because I don't need it anymore. We'll never be using the anchor again unless I decide to use it for something else. Alright, yeah, 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 here. Beautiful. Alright, now we're to the new area. I just wanted to do a little bit of re-exploration there. And grab some stuff. And try and re-familiarize re myself with the map as well. Ooh, wow, that was 250. That's pretty good. I'll be able to get uh, the other talent point thing soon. Nothing up there. Nope. Well, this area is pretty. 
I quite like it. I wonder if it links back up to the Field of Geo, because that's where the game wants me to go next, but I'm like, well, this place exists. Oh, okay, it was just come here for a talent point, basically. Okay. I will take that. I will definitely, definitely take that. Thank you. Alright, so... I guess I'll just meet you, uh, back up there. Alright, we are back up here at the Field of Geo. And I guess we're gonna go ahead and, uh, move forward. Hatamash Geo? That's all I can ever think of when I hear Geo now. Soft Meat and Cyanite Ore. These enemies definitely take a few more hits, so... Definitely feels more like, uh, the intended level here. Field of Geo! And also, that required that I have that. Ooh, a Scattered Prism, prism Bone. I forgot, I can sell those, because, um, it doesn't seem like I can put them in the graveyard like I expected. So I could have sold those to get that, uh, final talent upgrade. But, whatever. Yeah, the enemies here get a lot more XP as well. God, that attack is so, so good. I love it so much. So, I noticed we could get up over here. Ooh. We're not in the resting path. Calm down, video game. Hey, 195, I'll take it. It's like resting path, field of geo, resting path, field of geo. <laughs> it doesn't even know, it's like, uh, um. All right, let's continue up here. This place reminds me of an area in Hollow Knight. Which, uh, I saw a really, really cool thing, um, recently. There's a mod for Hollow Knight that voice acts the entire game. Which I'm like, ooh. Um, usually, for, for those that haven't been following the channel for a long time, usually when I play, like, not, not older games, I guess, but, you know, no, 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 well, I guess, I guess Hollow Knight is an older game at this point. Um, but usually when I play some games, like, uh, that are a bit older, I'll usually mod them. To kind of mix things up a little bit. Ow. And, um, that's what I plan to do with Hollow Knight as well. Um. Okay, let's go ahead and heal here. Okay. So, killing all of those things made your parent mad. I see. Okay. But yeah, um, I usually mod things if it's like an if it's like an older game. So um, that's what I did with Paper Mario. So I plan to do the same thing with Hollow Knight, and I think the voice acting mod could be very cool. There's also other mods for it that I would, uh, of course, consider doing as well. Okay, you have some HP. Ow! You luckily don't do a lot of damage. There we go. You're dead. There's a more cyanide ore and a talent point. And ore armor? Ooh. Hold the phone. That's... That's new. I've been wearing dresses this whole time. Ooh. Defense, max HP, and physical resistance. Armor made of ore and metal. The large shoulder plates are connected to at the chest by an elaborate metal structure. Cool. Got myself some armor. Can I make it up there by doing that? Is that even a place I can stand? Even. Or was this just... I'm starting to wonder if this was just for this, like, little encounter here. Yeah, I think that's all this was. You come up here, you fight that, like, boss, basically. After you kill all of its children. Which is, uh, pretty messed up. But, whatever. All right, we did it. So, let's see if I can get across the upper path here. I guess there's no real reason to. All right, now we're uh, out here in this area proper. Is this a drop? It really looks like one of those areas I could drop. Okay. Jeez, apparently that exists. Oh, you're stuck. I was like, what is happening? Okay. This is an elevator which goes down to that area. Interesting. Huh. I wonder if we should just go down there really quickly? Kind of wondering. Oh, also there's one of these. 
Was that a character I just walked right past down there as well? Oh yeah, I forgot my, uh, yeah, that attack that I have access to now as well. Was that a character? No, that was a lever. <laughs> I saw something like slightly different color and I was like, oh, is that a, that a character I can talky talk to? No. All right, down we go. Um, I'm not seeing anything. Okay. So yeah, this is connecting back to that area I was just at. What in the world is going on with this? This is some weird looking lore. Clean your plate. Weird. Clean your plate. Odd. Kickstarter backer message? Maybe? I swear, I swear, Kickstarter backers and Metroidvanias. <laughs> Name a better combo. <laughs> it seems like every Metroidvania has like a, a big Kickstarter backer graveyard or room or, you know, a hallway filled with portraits that you can examine and has something that the Kickstarter backer says. It's just, God, they're, they're all over the place. Oh, hey. Ooh, and a Dim Bomb. Okay. Um, I feel like I should probably stop hanging on to those and actually use them now, yeah? Um... But the, the, the katana is really the only thing I want to use it on. I mean, I guess I can just use it on that. I mean, how many dim bombs do I have? Four? Can't use. Um, do you have to use them? Be careful applying the bomb to equipment. Do you have to use it over here? I can't remember. Um, enhance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta use it over here. I'll enhance my, my blade. My, I really, really like the bronze blade, so... Four extra damage is probably worth it. And I still have three Dim Bomb left. So when I get the Twin Swords, I can use those as well. Um, Alright, let's 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 go back over here and refresh our save. At our baby tree. Whew, and let's move forward. Alrighty. Oh, hi, you respawned. Sorry. Forgot that, yeah, that would cause you to respawn. Okay, watch out for the traps somebody set up for me. Good. Excuse me, I don't think you're supposed to be doing that, friend. Friend, why are you walking on air? Stop that. Don't do that. <laughs> Ow. Alright, cool. And there we go, level 20. Which means I can do a bunch of new stuff on my talent page here. So we can get Rondo, wave the scythe diagonally upwards and spin it rapidly. Rising wyvern, rising up while doing a spin attack with dual blades. Uh, the number of uses is determined by the limit of jumps. Ooh, that seems good. Um, step forward and swing two heavy blows with the whip. Whip master is learned and a great sword is equipped. The skill is enhanced. Whips and great swords, really. Form three consecutive slash slashes and sheathe the blade. If instant has been learned, press the attack button when the blade flashes to enhance the skill. Yeah, I forgot. If instant has been learned, I don't know where instant is. So that's that's weird. I just, I just don't know where that is. Just don't know where that is. Um... Okay, this costs... One to unlock. Yeah, sure, let's get that down, right, so it's just a, it's just a quarter circle. Crescent moon, while evading, jump back and swing the sword forward at the same time. That's the swords. Okay, let's go over here and get... Rising Wyvern sounds pretty good. Um, I'm interested in Rondo. Uh, I of course want extra max MP. That would be very, very nice. We'll get Wisp of Toughness. And now I'm basically maxed out again. So, yeah, I guess we're just going to go spend... I guess we'll get the Crescent Moon or the Great Sword one, Chasing Sun. Okay, the Crescent Moon. Alright, so... 
Oh, that's the pressure plate right there. Oh, okay, I see. It's pressure plate activated. I see. I thought they just they just came out when you went near them, basically. Okay. Three hits. That seems not as effective to do. It seems much slower than just doing this. Like, because you actually have to sheathe the blade. Huh. Weird. And there's the flash. But I don't have instant unlocked. So... Hmm. I can see the flash. So we have, like, some... Weird timing mechanics. Is this a... I think that's totally what this is. Uh, I don't know if I can reach that by doing that. I need, like, a double jump or something. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna put a little bit of higher elevation as needed right here. I'm used to just being able to jank things to make it work, like in Rusted Moss. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, so the attacks do less damage, but there's three of them. Oh, okay. What a huge snail! What's it doing? It seems to be asking for aid? Hey, snail! Are you asking for aid? Mm. Hello? Anyone? Please help! Oh man, you look cool. Nice look. What happened? I'm a traveling merchant. I was supposed to transport some prism stones from the field of Geo to Resting Town. But this landslide strapped me. It feels like you could get a better thing for transporting goods than a snail. Snail seems incredibly slow, but... It's blocked on this side. There's a hole that leads out right above me. I hurt my ankle, though. C can you find it? I'll try. Uh, thank you. I truly need your aid. <laughs> I feel like I recognize that merchant's voice a little bit. Okay, so yeah, we gotta we gotta get up there. Um, and when we get up there, we will be able to do things. There are spikes right there, and another trap. It's like weird rock sheep. I swear. What's with you? Okay, we got spikes. We we got spikes. It wouldn't be a. It wouldn't be a Metroidvania without spikes. Owie. Huh. Nope, that's not gonna work. Okay, so that's not how we get up there. Hmm. Okay. I can't I can't get up there. Not right now, I don't think. So I guess we're continuing uh Zis away. Oh cool, you can kill enemies with the traps. Neat. Wasn't sure if we would be able to do that or not. The other struggle with that thing is you can also fail the input doing a quarter circle, but it just seems not as good as this. This is so much faster, especially if you do short hops. Let's just jump right over that. Oh, we gotta come out that way, I see. Okay. Well then, up here... Nope, not getting me with that. Ow. I failed my jump. What a flub. There we go. Yeah, that is, that jump attack just seems way better, and it's just part of the default kit. Wild. Or reap meat. That's what they're called. Or eep. Instead of, you know, just basically or sheep. That's all they are. Oh my god, I really expected them to go down faster than that. Jeez. Okay, so hide right here, wait for it to go away, then do it. Yeah, they stay just a little bit longer than I expect them to. And... bing, bing, bing. Okay. Whoop! Damn it, I slid off. Because I'm trying to not get hit by that. So I can get up here. There. Hup. And we're good. What in the world are you? That is a kitty. That is an angry looking kitty, too. You throw smoke bombs? Yes, you do. Um. Okay. Just gonna continue to hit you with this. That was the attack that I was trying to do, but I don't think you can do it in the air. You cannot. Which significantly limits its, uh, usefulness. 
Okay, at least they go down pretty easily. Remind me of Ziggs from League of Legends. Okay. Yellow treasure. Just two health potions, but uh, I will take it. Okay. So, get me over here. Then more of this. There we go. Very, very dead. Okay, and this looks like another one that requires some higher elevation. Yeah. Okay, what's over here first, though? I see, like, boxes and stuff piled up. What world are these? Okay. Scary. They do not get hit stun. Uh-huh. They don't. Oh, yeah, I haven't tried my, uh... Ooh, that could be good. Okay, that could be good. Yeah, 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 I like that. How many times does it hit, I wonder? God, I wish I could do more of these skills in the air. So many of them are limited in their usefulness because... Um... You can't, you can't do them in the air, basically. That's why this attack is so good, because it's a strong attack, but also you can do it in the air. Like, most of my time spent doing combat is in the air, because I'm jumping around and stuff. So it's hard to do, like, the grounded abilities. Okay, that is very strong. You just gotta be careful using it. Yeah, it's just dangerous. Okay. I mean, I'll, I'll take it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it does about 50 damage, I guess, so... Still not as strong as this attack, but this weapon's upgraded, so that makes sense. So did I come that way? I did not come that way. But that way it looks like it gets me down to there. Okay, there's multiple ways to go here. This is a very, very confusing layout. Sorry, friend. Oh, God. Okay, I see now. Just give me the stuff from long range, please. Thank you. Alright. And there's the lower path we can take over there. But I'm like, what's over here? Hello? Me, two legs. Okay. Look at this strange creature, Ree. Is it a mushroom? Help me! Good be good. You need us to help you? Help! Yes! You want Ifri to pull you out? Yes! No! Spore stolen! Find! Give me! Can't the mushroom speak more eloquently? Hey! Speak in full sentences! Ifri can't take it anymore! Well, that's just rude, Ifri. Alright. Boom. Okay, so we just- we got some jellyfish that we're dealing with now. Alright. I think I can make it to that there, we just with a well-timed jump, yeah. Cool. And this is getting me back towards where the merchant was. God, there's a lot of stuff going on here. I should go check out this other path first, though, because it looks like it's a dead end, actually, or at least it loops back around. So let's go, maybe this is where the... Um... This is where the woo. Okay. Uh huh. Oh god. Okay, this is quite the little danger room. Yeah, this leads to like a treasure chest and some enemies. Okay. Okay, I see the problem. Okay. There we go. We're fine. We're fine. Oh, that was a that was a pretty crazy room. And you get reset back to the beginning if you die, so. No. Alright. An ore helmet. That's good, that's good. I'm glad I got that. And we got broken parts. So ore helmet. Probably better than my moonlight band. Defense plus 5.4, extra HP, and physical resistance. A helmet made of ore and metal. There's a streak of prism rock on the top of the helmet. I wish, uh, I wish our, our appearance slightly changed, even a little bit, um, with our equipment. 
because I, I just like that sort of stuff. But uh, I understand why it doesn't. That would be a lot of work to, you know, actually have art for every single potential combination of uh, equipment. It's just something I like. Okay, um... Jellyfish. Yeah, god, the blade just is so much stronger. Like I said, being able to use a good attack in the air like that... It just makes it so much better than a lot of other things. Okay, you just- you just poo these out. Got ya. Cool. Good to know. Health potions. Yep. And that's not a way I can go. God, this area is huge! And so just like, all over the place. Okay, um, let's put a higher jump marker here. I wonder how many things I've already missed. I haven't properly marked while going through here. Just gonna use this. Seems like the easiest way to handle this. What if we could just grind off of those? Oh, hi. Okay. Very, very cute. They're not even seeing me, so... Makes my life a little bit easier here. What can I say? The, the, the blade continues just to be godlike. Like, I honestly think it's even better than the, um, than the, the dual blades now. There we go. Love that you can reflect those back right in their face. And that thing hits twice, so it makes it easier to reflect as well. And there's another talent point. Oh my god, medium rare mushrooms? We got a lot of stuff there. Delicacy? Quest updated? What was that? Did I quest? Conjurer Alice. Oh yeah, it's me to collect ingredients. She needs a mushroom spore and medium rare mushrooms so that she can make delicious mushroom family. We found the ingredients Alice needed and are ready to bring them back. Okay, so I can get back over there and turn those things in. That's nice. Die, please. Yellow. Boom. Okay. Ooh, I can't get up there. Hmm. Yeah, that's not happening. Oh wait, nope, you can bounce off the mushroom. I was- I was wondering if I could, and I- I thought I was getting close enough to try it, but um... No. Okay, so yeah, we can- we can bounce off the mushrooms. Good. I was curious about that, because it seemed like so prominent in the- in the, you know, the background there, that I was like, it must- there must be something going on with that. I keep seeing this wood and thinking I can break it. But, unfortunately, no dice. Bye-bye. Okay, that leads to something. It's down here first and foremost. Ah, I see. So we can't- we can't go this way, not yet. Um, so we must do one of these. One of these, one of these. Jump one of those. Oh, scary. Metroidvanias love their spike sections, they do. Ooh, that was close. Ooh, okay, that was a fudge up. Okay. Yeah, because my head hit the top of that. Okay, so let's break this. Then we break this. And we're good. Now we can take the elevator down. And it looks like there's something there. That. Hmm. There's also something up there. Okay, we need to we need to mark these things on the map. Um, so this I don't know what the deal with that is, actually. We'll check that in just a moment. This though, I need something I don't have. This requires I'm gonna say it requires the- the down smash thingy, because I imagine that's what we need to use on those enemies. Like, that's just my guess. Oh god, we do one damage to you? Are you only weak to magic? No? Are you like a metal slime? Oh my god, you're like a metal slime. Yeah, I got so much stuff for beating you up. Spore gem. And another seized coin. Yeah, you're like a metal slime. Weird. Uh, let's look at these new items that I got, because I got quite a few new ones. 
Medium rare mushroom. Edible mushroom plants that smell and taste like meat. That's why they're called medium rare mushrooms. Meme jam. Hindquarter meat of oreeps. Quite chewy due to their constant rolling. It's the favorite of the past miners and hunters. Prism mines. There's another scattered crimson bone. To everyone that sees this, I hope you have an amazing experience and enjoy it as much as me. Yup, these are the Kickstarter backer things. There we go. There we go. So that's that's what those are. Sport gem, a valuable item. It's said that merchants are keen on buying and collecting them. Gem that seems to be alive. The glittering light shimmers as if breathing. There was a time when some scholars were obsessed with discovering the secrets of sporoid life, but the raising occurred before they can make any more progress. Okay. So, yeah, I've marked that over there. That area's been been found. This is... I'm gonna put a lock here to let me know... Like, I, I'm thinking that's a good way to show me if a path is blocked. Like, with a wall that I need to destroy from the other side. So that's what the new new meaning of the lock is. It means, hey, this is blocked off right here. You gotta come from another side. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do that. I think that's a better thing for the lock. And here you Are go. Are you the kind-hearted soul? We meet at last. Are you well? Hi. Well enough. The landslide only caught my ankle. And my exit was blocked. Seems like the collapsed rocks are quite loose. I can clear it out with a forceful push. No, don't. They're all prismores, worth their weight in dues. Prismores? The kind you sell for many fees to feed your belly? Be careful, you two. Let's break this rock here first and see if we can make a tunnel. There we go. Ooh, I got prismore. Yay. So, let's check that out. Valuable item. Said the merchants are buying canned of ore that changed from cyanide or ore over the years. It shimmers with iridescent light. The prism mines were once a paradise for prism miners and hunters collecting crystal monsters. Now there are only bandits, mushrooms, and mad scions of Geo. That reminds me, I need to examine more of these things. Piece of equipment made by crazy meowlings. The reason for the sudden madness of the Geo scion is still unknown. Or that grows naturally on some creatures. And the other things we've read. Yeah, but I gotta keep up with reading these things. Piece of crystal clear violent ore, inside which there is a faint flicker of colorful light. The specialty of Prism Mines. Worth a lot of money for its excellent excellent quality even now. Cause yeah, we get lore out of those things, so. Uh, that's a lot of dues lost. Uh, that's a lot of dues lost. You Of course I'm grateful, Savior. If it weren't for you, I might have been trapped in that cave forever. I have here some common consumables that are popular with adventurers like you. See if you like any. Okay. Check the stock. Ooh, floral boots. Those look nice. There's the floral dress. I don't have boots. Floral tiara, flower bracelet, flower badge. Oh, I'll be taking that. I'll be taking that for sure. Wait, is that a weapon? Withering dagger. Final damage minus 5%. But main attack, weapon attack, what does final damage minus 5% mean? What does, what does that mean? And I'll buy it because it's unique. Eye of Truth, cast away the mist in vision. What in the world? Um, I'll, I'll take the boots. And I'll take the tiara. And I want this, obviously. But, uh, I need to You'll sell some stuff. So, let's sell... I have some things that are just worth money, right? Yeah, these. Can I buy a key item back after selling it? Do you wish to sell this item? Yeah, I mean, these... These seem like that that's what they're worth, right? It just says a valuable item. It even is the diamond thing there, so... Kind of assuming that's what I'm supposed to use this for? And this stuff, possibly. You'll need plenty of okay. Check the stock. Okay, so I can afford this now, right? Yes, cast away the mist and vision. Cast away the darkness and mist and vision. Eye of truth. Cool. And now I have a bunch of new equipment. Um, I have floral boots. I have, so yeah. Final damage minus 5%. What does that mean? Like it increases my other damage 
if I if I was playing like Kingdom Hearts or something, I would assume it meant the final damage in my combo, but we don't really have combos in this per se. So I'm kind of like slightly recovers MP when HP is recovered. I, I'll put it on just to see. Final damage minus five percent. I don't I don't know what that means. Don't know what that means at all. Okay, you're probably very happy with me now that I've done that. Uh, okay, so... With that now, can you can you teleport to these? Your soul will immediately te return to the stream. I think you can teleport to those. So let's go back to Resting Town. And I can turn in with this one character and we can save. Then I can just teleport back over there it seems. Cool. Hello. Ah, it's you. Have you brought me the ingredients I asked for? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Show me what you got. Of course. Watch this. Let's see what you got. Ooh. After first time consumption, yes. Yes. This is what I want. Yeah. Increase stats with food. I love this stuff. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, we can make a tree radish meat stew. After partaking, dispels darkness for 30 minutes. It's the meetup of two different worlds. The waters of the Sea of Souls brought a magical plant from the other world, and the stew of tree radish and chicken meat. The chef adds in a special spice made from garlic sprout. It's so different from the other meat dishes, so bright and colorful, yet, yet so tasty. Insufficient ingredients. Oh, oh, I don't have the meat and stuff required. I just have, oh, okay. Yeah, no, I can't make any of this then. Um, because I need more money, mostly. Okay. We'll, uh, we'll work on getting more money next time. I, like I said, I'm pretty sure I have some selling fodder stuff, but, um, I can, I can wait. It's fine. But yeah, we have, like, the cooking system from, uh, Bloodstained, which I really, really like, so. Alrighty. With that, I think we're gonna go ahead and end this episode off. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.